When I was a young child, I was raised in an environment with religious overtones, heavy religious overtones, with ideologies of a God, an external God outside of me that's supposed to be all good and his opposite, a demonic figure known as Satan, the devil, that embodied all that is evil. And when I would do something that the authority in my life did not approve of, whether it be my parents, whether that be teachers at school, whatever the establishment authority around me at that time, they would say, you keep doing that, you're going to hell. You got the devil in you, son. And there's a popular phrase, the devil made me do it. Whenever you would do something that authority didn't approve of, and a way to shrug the responsibility off of one's shoulders, you would blame this devil, the scapegoat, scapegoat for all the horrors, all the fear, all the darkness, all the hatred that's expressed through humanity, expressed through you. And this phrase, the devil made me do it. And I got really adept at using that phrase, the devil made me do it. I got very skilled at it. But if I'm being totally transparent, if I'm being honest, a lot of those things I've blamed on the devil, I enjoyed doing. I enjoyed these transgressions, and had I have gotten away with them, I don't think I'd made a single apology. And there are dark entities out there. There are dark forces in the world that feed off of the darkness that's within us. And in this modern world, you hear people talking about entity possession. They talk about dark entities attaching to them, demonic attacks. And these things are real, mind you. But what I believe is that when we have darkness within us that we haven't owned up to, when we have darkness in our soul that we haven't healed, when we're still living from a place of shame, then these dark entities tend to attach to us. And you know, many of the, the things that I did as a child, some of them you could say are just mischief. Some of them are relative. Some of them, some of the behaviors are shamed relative to the culture and relative to the frame, the authorities that I was raised in. And then others, others that I've truly felt sorrow for in my heart, uh, transgressions that I did that harmed another human or harmed another living being, yeah, those transgressions that violated another being in its life process, those, there was genuine remorse. And that's the difference between a, a human soul that is capable of empathy and a psychopath. A psychopath or sociopath which has no empathy, which enjoys just watching the world burn, which enjoys watching suffering. And those psychopathic souls are prime conduits for dark energy because they get off on it genuinely. But most people, you know, most of us out there, it's when we have shame that we have not owned up to, when we're blaming somebody else or something else for something in us that we haven't healed, when we haven't forgiven ourselves for something that we've done that's caused suffering to someone else or something else. And then the flip side of that, the things that we're not sorry for, the things we said the devil made us do, but we're genuinely not sorry for, they're just things that are relative to the culture that we lived in. 
But when we shine light onto those elements of our shadows, we own up to what is ours. And when we own up to the bad things that we did and confess our enjoyment, our pleasure that we took in them, and we own up to the bad things that we did that we're ashamed of, and we genuinely ask for forgiveness, and we show that we mean it because we don't go and do those things again. We act with integrity, with our words, and with our beliefs, then we start to heal some of this shame, some of this guilt we may feel inside of us, some of the incongruence between our values, our words, and our actions. And when this happens, when we become more congruent, when we become more aware of what's really going on in us, and we start to own up to our choices and our behavior, and we own up to our values, and we're okay maybe pissing somebody off out there because we're violating their belief system, but we're not actually violating the person, but other things we choose not to do because we see it as a violation of the life process. And when you get in that place, then the demonic spirits, the devil, has a harder time pulling our strings. We become harder to manipulate. We become harder to pull into that lower frequency. And we become more sovereign beings. We pull up our adult pants and strap on that belt of courage. We own up to what we claim to represent and be in our lives. And we become truly sovereign beings, then we become capable of acting from a greater expression of our potential. And that is my intention in this life right now. That's my intention for you who are watching this video. This is not a very popular intention on YouTube and in our modern world when you mean it when you say it like that, and you say it, and mean it, and you live it. But for those of you who mean it, I wish you strength. I wish you courage. And I will see you on the other side.